Hi friends, have you ever heard the saying, it takes a village? Once I became a mom, I heard from older generations, anytime someone helped me, it takes a village. At first I was offended. I thought I was failing as a mom or wife or just as a person in general. Then as I matured, I realized I was not failing. When I accepted help or advice, I was growing. Now as I mature in age, I find myself saying this saying to other people. I say it out of love because we are called to help one another, to do life together. Jesus came here and did not do it all on his own. He created a community. He knew that God wanted us to live life together. We are called to live life with each other in our homes, in our church, and in our community. We as people need this. We need community to survive the everyday tasks, as well as the hardships and challenges that happen to us and others. Colossians 3.14 says, But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. When we live life in love and love our neighbors as ourselves, we bridge the gap that may seem to divide us. If you are feeling that God is calling you to help someone, but you think you may not be the right person, or someone else might do a better job, that is the enemy trying to divide us as people. Do things in love, and there is no divide. Love is a language that is universal. If you wonder what I mean, if you see someone who speaks another language, smile to them. That is a sign of love. More than likely, they will smile back as a reaction. Do things in love and bridges are formed. Jesus lived a life in love and created a community that continues to grow. Earlier on in the book written by Paul in prison to the Corinthians of Colossus, in version, or I'm sorry, in the verse two, two and three, he pleads that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love and attaining to all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom we are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible is a living book. No one knows everything that is in it, but anyone who studies it and reads it by reflecting and learning can share with others and bring others the amazing love that is Jesus. That is creating community. I enjoy looking at the other translations of verses in the Bible. When looking to the verse I first mentioned, Colossians 3.14, the International Children's Bible says, do all these things, but most important, love each other. Love is what holds you all together in perfect unity. Sometimes, as adults, we overcomplicate things. That is one reason I love working with kids. When they are young, they are of pure love, walking over to other kids, asking them to be their friend, naturally wanting to create community and do life together. I challenge you and myself to remember this today and going forward, to live first out of love, love like Jesus and live life together because it does take a village. Please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to love like you. Help us to create community formed in love, to build bridges that don't divide. Help us to find each other, not let the enemy get a foothold, and help us to love and build that time together. In Jesus' name, amen.